Hey guys, I'm standing here at the Tees Hotel right now with some amazing people behind me and we want to do a video that's very, very special. I have a friend here, he's from a Catholic background, they're from a Dutch Reform background, he's from a Luton background, he's from a Baptist background, we have a Pentecostal background and a charismatic background. And what we have all experienced have is the true gospel, is the freedom from Jesus Christ when it comes to sin. Jesus did not come to save us in our sin, so we go, out, go on with sin and bad conscience. He came to set us free from our sins, so we experience a freedom in Christ and a holy life. And religion cannot do it, but Jesus Christ can. And, and we wanted to take people from very, very different backgrounds because we want to say that it's not enough you're in a church it's not enough that you even speak in tongues it's not enough that you think you know it you need to experience the freedom it's not a doctoral thing it's not up here only there's freedom it's in here it's a new life in christ and i want you very short to just hear a little of of our friends here so you can see how it is you are from a Catholic background. Yes, I grew up as Catholic and I went through baptism and communion. But uh, I was young and I uh, fell in sin in my youth. And um, it was no nothing changed for me uh, relatively to God. And then I started to seek freedom in new age. But I was even more bound to sin with drugs, with addictions, with many bad things. I couldn't get rid of on my own strength. So I, I was always looking after something more and I went to I became Pentecostal at 24 and I, uh, I accepted Jesus in my heart I, I did the sinner's prayer and I went through all the different steps I got baptized in water and I received the Holy Spirit but I was still fighting with sin for some years and after another failing I after many years I cried out to God asking why do I am I fighting again with this th thing I, I, I thought I was free from this but I, I couldn't I couldn't do it and my eyes I, at this moment got open and God showed me that I have been set free from from sin and it has not he hasn't power over me anymore since I died with Christ and at this moment my eyes got open but it was so long after my baptism it was really after the moment I cried out to God this freedom came and everything changed the fight was over at this moment. And I would say that, was, that is the really the new birth. The new birth is really there where we experience that full freedom. And my story is almost like, like his stories where I got baptized, but I did not have the revelation, I did not have the understanding. The truth is that many people like him and me and other people go to church to seek the freedom, but they don't experience the freedom. They experience the religion. And then you actually leave church again to seek other places like you saw the freedom in new age mm -hmm. but you did not find it there mm -hmm. but then you came back and you find the revelation how is it to be free it's different it's completely different because we experience now there is no separation anymore between god and me and uh, I, i'm not fighting with sin anymore i'm just seeking god and going after him and it's a complete new life complete uh, i say life. when you hear that story there is people out there who don't follow what he's saying I follow completely what he's saying. It's like hearing my own words. And it's like the first time I hear him say it like that, I'm like, yeah, I would use the same way of saying it. There's a freedom. The focus is not, oh, I should not sin, I should not sin, I should not sin. The focus is Jesus. Yes. Uh, and, and doing his will, we don't say we are perfect, but it's not like we're going around and str fighting and struggling with sin. We are focused on Jesus. If you heard his story and you know what he's talking about that is good if you have no idea what he's talking about you have a problem <laughs> because this should be the norm and you are from a Dutch reform background that is yes. uh, the, where the reformation started in Europe came in Holland and came down yes. to South Africa where they are from yes. what is your experience with freedom from sin and the gospel so, yeah, you can... yeah so for myself I, I grew up in church I, um, I went to church every Sunday when I was a little baby I got sprinkled on the head and I grew up in a church where there was rules there were rules that I had to obey and I really tried I tried so hard to just be a good Christian girl but I always struggled with um, unforgiveness I had bad thoughts I just couldn't turn away from that and I lived my life and I just really tried not to um, 
to anger God because I know that God was um, he was up there and he was righteous uh, but I didn't know how to do it in my own power and in 2012 um, I just the Spirit of God was just drawing me and I start searching and um, it was in 2012 that I got baptized and spirit filled and my my life changed um, all of a sudden I could turn away from sin I realized that sin doesn't have dominion over me anymore I can turn away and I never had that before um, I actually now I can I can live a life where I can I know that I've got it, got the choice. I can turn away where I never had that before when I went to church every Sunday and not knowing the power of the baptism. Same for me. I grew up um, really strict uh, belief uh, in the church. You have to follow those rules. When you're getting 16 years old, then you get accepted into the communion uh, or the, com com um, congregation. the congregation. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> then after that, okay, now you're free. You can go and do what you like. Um, falling into sin I got married I thought I lived a holy life every Sunday I went to church and I thought I was um, um, living for God mm -hmm. but the same with me in 2012 the Lord came and really shook us up mm -hmm. and uh, waken us up say if I come tonight where are you I'm not free mm -hmm. and for that I um, turned away I got baptized filled with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and uh, now I can live in that freedom I, sin doesn't have a dominion over me and I don't have to fight that every day mm. it's not to say the sin is not gonna come and attack me but I can walk now in the freedom of Jesus Christ mm. and the sad truth is that it's really possible to be in church it's possible to even serve in church it's possible to do everything and still not be free mm. uh, and and there's so many people out there who have not experienced that freedom and this is we have a uh, a Catholic person here, we have a Dutch Reformed person, and then we have a Ludan person, and it was the same for you. Yes, I was baptized as an infant and uh, brought up in the Ludan church. Um, as 19 years old, I realized I need to repent. I had a really strong repentance. Uh, then I lived on a lot of years where everything went up and then completely down and up because the sin took over and um, it's only I think five years ago that we found out we actually needed my wife and me to be baptized and uh, we were baptized then uh, and it was really a nice experience just felt a lot of peace and suddenly maybe five or six days after I realized I was free of sin mm completely free of sin that was really really strong experience and, and what is amazing here is that here you see again John had that faith he had the heart of repentance but it's not enough you need to bury the old life to be free from sin like read Romans 6 you need to get rid of the old life because if you don't get rid of the old life it's ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs and you fight but we have a guy here, he's a Baptist, but it's even not enough to be baptized if you don't have the revelation, understanding of what baptism is. So I grew up Hindu actually, and uh, meant nothing to us. Uh, later on, basically, we were presented with uh, the gospel, it's supposed to be freeing, a new life, a relationship. Uh, we accepted Jesus, repented. 30 years later, I'm serving in the church, um, but I wasn't freed. I didn't, nobody told me about the significance of baptism, the significance of being filled with the Holy Spirit. So I had part of it, but I didn't have the full package. So I got baptized, I got filled with the Holy Spirit, and then I was set free. There was something different. I had this amazing love for God. Uh, my heart was just filled with love. It was a whole new life, uh, so exciting. I want to be obedient. There's something that has changed that didn't happen before. So until I understood the fullness of the gospel, uh, repent, uh, believe in Jesus, get baptized, uh, I'm dying with Christ, I rise up with Christ, and then being filled with the Holy Spirit, that's the package. That's where the freedom came, and now life is amazing. Life isn't easy. We have tr trials, we go through temptations, but we have something we didn't have before. We have that freedom, we have that peace, we have everything to go through it. It's awesome. Yeah. And, and, and I, I, I love stories like that. We see that from so many church backgrounds who tell the same story. I was in church, I was seeking, but when the full gospel come, 
I experience freedom. They send people think that, okay, that is more in the Lutheran, Reformed, Catholic background and maybe some Baptists who really need the Holy Spirit. But it's really in the Pentecostal movement, it's the charismatic movement also, we need the freedom. Because maybe we in those movements have a, a strong focus on, on the Holy Spirit, but then we have a lack when it comes to the Baptists. Or we have a lack when it comes to repentance. And what you hear in the story is when everything comes together, things change. Some people is they have the baptism when the Holy Spirit come in, everything changes. Some people have the Holy Spirit, the, the baptism coming, everything changes. Some people have the Holy Spirit and the baptism but they don't have the revelation of it. But when the revelation comes, everything changes. What is important is that everything needs to change. We need to experience the gospel, the freedom from sin, new conscience toward God. We go, don't go around with our head Bow, bend down because we feel bad conscience. We go lift our head because we are sons of God. We are holy. We are self free. And that gives us energy to really focus on Jesus, to be together with Him. And that is the important the relationship. But you too, you are from a Pentecostal background, you are from a charismatic, yeah, free, uh, free, independent, church, yeah. free church background. What is your story? <laughs> Yeah, I, I did not um, grow up in a Christian in a church, but I came. I started to believe in Jesus Christ when I was 20 years old, and uh, I came into a Pentecostal church in Sweden, and um, I loved it there. I loved it. I was baptized uh, half year after uh, my um, believing in Jesus, and uh, many people prayed for me to receive the Holy Spirit. So um, I was actually happy in the church, but um, two years ago when I, I just read the book of Acts and I realized that my life does not sum up with the book of Acts. I, I couldn't see um, the likeness. It was very different from what I read in the book of Acts. And I was asking God, why is this? Why, why am I not more like the disciples in the early church? Why am I more like my uh, working colleagues? Uh, I, I could not see the difference between me and my working colleagues. And I, 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 I think he started to just show me there that I, I didn't have the full revelation of the repentance. I, I did not know what I was doing when I was 20 years old. So even if, if I had the baptism and, and things like that, I, I, I lacked the fear of God. Um, God. For me, God was only love. He's only love, love, love. And he loves me and he loves me. Whatever I do, he loves me. But I realized that he is also holy and I need the, the fear of God in combination with the love of God. And that made me free. And I just, it was like I was took a step out of my box and I realized I was formed by tradition. And I saw it all come together. And when you read the book of Acts, you see how they preached the gospel in, in the early church. And when you have all these things, it's like the other guys have said that, that the focus is Jesus from after that. You don't, you don't go and think of all your sins, uh, even if you fall in sin, uh, but you focus on Jesus. Thank you God for setting me free. I, I, I love you so much and that is amazing. <laughs> what, what is your story? Yeah, my story is I uh, actually, uh, the first 10 years of my life, I grew up in a kind of a free church. A charismatic church and um, then we left the church because uh, my parents wanted to start home fellowships but the problem was that I was from a third I was 13 when I started to to fall into porn and then till I was um, 25 actually I relapsed and relapsed and I was really strong bound into sin because the problem is there the the teaching it's you do the sinner's prayer and you just invite Jesus in your heart and you give Jesus your heart and that's it there there's like the repentance isn't there and when it comes to baptism it was like yeah you get baptized when you feel ready you get baptized I don't know when you have the feeling to do it and then when your time comes you will receive the Holy Spirit and then after that when your time comes you will start to speak in tongues but yeah that was just um, the revelation wasn't there and I know so many people who are bound in sin, who are struggling with sin. They, it's not like they want to do it, but they just cannot be free. And it was the same in my life. I didn't have the revelation about baptism and also not about repentance. I was just um, continuing in my sin. And actually, I was a sinner who loved his sin. And then when I came here at the Kickstarter 2016, I heard the teaching about repentance and baptism. I was like so shocked because I knew 
I need to repent and get baptized. I need to die with Christ and rise with Christ and wash my sins away and get this new life and get filled with the Holy Spirit. And since then, I experienced this great freedom. It's just amazing. I can resist sin now. It's so different. Before, I was drawn into it and now I can resist the temptations and go through it and have the victory in Jesus. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, I want you to everybody give a last word, just one line, one good advice to people out there, because this is people from different backgrounds. So, so very short, one good advice to people out there who are fighting with sin, who are not free yet. What do you want to say? We need to not be deceived. We, we need to not just uh, and by Jesus in our heart, but really to turn away from our sins and to choose to receive a clean and a new conscience from God, to choose to just live a new life with Christ. And then we need to die with him through the water of baptism in faith, knowing that it's not just a symbol. And then uh, our life will get totally changed. It's not, it's, even if it's not from one day to another, automatic, but you receive a power and then you can just stand, put your feet on, on, on the floor and, and say, no, now I'm not a slave to sin anymore. Amen. This I will say Acts 2 verse 38. That's for everyone. You can live a life free from sin, where it's your choice not to sin. Mm, yes. Jesus said to Nicodemus that you have to be reborn through water and spirit. That means you need all the three things in the gospel. Repentance, being baptized fully under water for remission for your sins, and receive, then you will receive the Holy Spirit. And then you are born again. If you believe what Jesus said, then we need to be obedient to what he said. I was in the church and I did not, the life was not what it said. So you look at the word, be obedient to the word because it's saying something different than how we were living in the church. Yeah. Yeah, I would say ask the Holy Spirit to show you fear of God. Mm. Yeah, I think we missed that today. Yeah. yeah, ask the Holy Spirit where you are and what you need and also um, I want really to, to encourage you to take your Bible, read what the Word says, and then act on the Word. Come in faith, trust in Jesus, and you know, He says, I am the way. So we have to follow the, Him and the way He prepared, because the way He prepared is the way God blessed. So we have to get, we have to repent, get baptized in water, and fill with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I'll just say, uh, we all testimonies that, that religion do not save, that you can grow up, have a faith in Jesus, but without being born again. You can have a faith in Jesus and being deceived. So I really encourage you, take the Bible and read it yourself. Yes. Take it, take the Romans, go through Romans again and again. Check chapter seven when talk about baptism water. Check, check book of Acts and see how they were preaching the gospel. What result was. Study, study, study. See what the word is saying. See God and then get the revelation like freedom or fear of God you need. Get the revelation of baptism you need. Get the Holy Spirit. Get what you need to get to live that freedom God has for every one of us. So God bless you and also see the Pioneer School. That is good. Bye bye. We, we are standing, st still standing here and talking and it, it's so beautiful. I just want to say this. We, we came from different backgrounds. We come from different places. We got introduced to Jesus and the gospel in different ways, but we all ended the same place with that freedom from sin, being a disciple, dying with Christ, rising up with Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit and living the new life Jesus has for us. And that is important you get. Let nobody deceive you by telling that it's okay to continue in sin. It's not okay to continue in sin. The grace is not a cover from our sin. The grace is a help to overcome sin, to live a holy life. Yeah, we can fall, and especially new disciples, new disciples will, will in the beginning fall more because they are learning, but we are not continuing. We are learning. The Holy Spirit is holy. He makes us holy and is beautiful. I love it. Love it. Woo! This is the gospel, guys. Jesus Amen. came. He got the name Jesus because he should save us from our sins Amen. so we could get a new life in him. Amen. We love it. Amen.